In the realm of high-speed transportation, groundbreaking developments are pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible. Recent tests have shown that Elon Musk's visionary concept of hyperloops, a new mode of transportation, is becoming closer to reality. I know that there are various companies that are trying to create uh, the Hyperloop, and uh, honestly, I think it's a lot easier than, than people think. The blueprints are pretty complicated. Well, blueprints are always kind of complicated, and I mean, yes, there's math, <laughs> but it's really not that hard. Not to be outdone, China has unveiled its own ambitious take on superfast travel. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, KASIC, a state-run space contractor, has announced plans for a high-speed flying train capable of reaching mind-boggling speeds of 4,000 km per hour, 2,485 miles per hour. This supersonic ground transport would be three times the speed of sound, four times faster than commercial flights, and ten times faster than the current fastest bullet train, which happens to be found in China. To address concerns about safety at such incredible speeds, the project's chief engineer emphasized that the acceleration phase of the train would be slower than that of an airplane. Furthermore, he emphasized that this project is distinct from the Hyperloop development in the United States, positioning China's train as the world's first endeavor focused on supersonic ground transport. Could China achieve this astonishing feat of engineering? The nation is investing significant resources and research into the project. The plan is to establish trains that can operate at speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour between regional cities, 2,000 km per hour between megacity clusters, and 4,000 km per hour lines connecting countries participating in China's Belt and Road Initiative. To achieve this, the project team is collaborating with over 20 research institutes from both China and around the world. A train traveling at 4,000 km per hour would outpace general passenger airplanes by a factor of 5 and traditional high-speed bullet trains by a factor of 10. The incredible speed would be achieved through superconducting maglev technology and a tube transport system. So, how does maglev technology work? Magnetic to tackle this challenge, the developers have embraced the concept of Hyperloop technology, envisioning the train traveling through a vacuum tube to minimize air drag. Safety is undoubtedly a concern at such high speeds. However, the train's acceleration speed would be slower than that of a plane during takeoff, ensuring passenger safety and alleviating concerns. Furthermore, the flying train would rely on renewable energy, be unaffected by weather conditions, and seamlessly connect with subway systems, making it an incredibly convenient and rapid mode of transportation. As China continues to solidify its position as a global leader in technology, the world eagerly awaits to see if it will deliver on this audacious venture. The development of a 4,000 km per hour train has the potential to reshape transportation and set a new benchmark for high-speed travel.